How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to look at iPhone 12s today and really unbox the cost of a new iPhone because personally I've been looking at iPhones. I have still my iPhone 6 from five years ago and I still do all my video recording on it. That's something that a lot of people don't know but I am still plugging away with six generations back on the iPhone so I've been looking into a new one and really, YouTube's been blowing up recently with unboxing and reviews of the new iPhone. So I've been cautiously looking at buying a new phone. And I want to talk to you today about how this can affect your long-term wealth. So I realize this might be a little bit different than what a lot of people are thinking this is going to be. But this is a cautionary tale, especially as we get closer to the holidays, on what can happen if you increase your lifestyle too much too quickly. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So that's the only thing I'm going to say is leave the thumbs up. But looking at Apple iPhones, they have been increasing over the last five to 10 years. I remember when I got mine, I think it was 500 or $600. And the iPhone 12s just came out recently. They're starting at about 700 for the lowest model and they go up to 1000 this got me kind of thinking, okay, what is the cost of this? Because a lot of people that I know upgrade almost every time that there's a new iPhone or at least every two times. So if they're at a 10, they'll upgrade to a 12. They've maybe had their 10 for one or two years and they want to upgrade. And Apple makes this very easy by having this program where you can pay $35.33 a month and you can get upgrades every year on iPhones. Now, again, this starts at $35.33. If you go down here, you can see that that is for their iPhone 12 mini with 64 gigs. And then as you move up, it costs a couple dollars more. As you get bigger on the, on the phone size, it gets a little bit more expensive. But even at the low end, $35.33 a month is over $420 a year. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot because you're getting a new iPhone every year, right? Well... For example, I have paid about $120 a year if you spread out how long my iPhone has lasted over five years. And I can do everything that everyone else can do, essentially. I have a couple less bells and whistles, and maybe the phone is a little bit slower. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't get one of these phones, but my phone works pretty well. I mean, honestly, I've started a pretty successful business with it, and it's an iPhone 6. So that is something to consider. Now, I wanted to talk to you since the holidays are coming up and since iPhones are out and talk to you about what lifestyle inflation is. And you might have heard of this, but it refers to an increase in spending when an individual's income goes up. So this can happen, first of all, when income goes up or just when new items come out that you want. I mean, you don't necessarily have to make more money to inflate your lifestyle. You can either just save a little bit less or invest a little bit less, or maybe you get a couple windfalls from work. You get an end of year bonus. You get a tax refund. You get a stimulus check and you go out and spend it. Now, for a lot of people, this doesn't seem like a lot. Like I spent, like I said, $120 a year on my phone versus $420, but $300 a year looking just over 40 years. So I'm 25 now. By the time that I'm 65, if I had saved this $300 a year, that would equate to about $133,000 in investments. And I think the important thing to remember is too, this is just one example of it. The Apple phone, the Apple iPhone 12 is just one example. Once you start getting more comfortable doing this, you start to inflate, I think, other parts of your lifestyle, whether that is a better phone plan or maybe a couple extra bells and whistles, a couple extra items at your house, upgrading your backyard, upgrading uh, your car, stuff like that, where it's just incremental, where maybe you start spending another $1,000 a year instead of 300 just from all these different things. And by the time that you have invested for 40 years, that's almost half a million dollars. And in that last example, that was about a 10% rate of return, which is about average for the market. However, if you looked at investing in Apple, for example, instead of buying an Apple iPhone, it has gone up about 295% over the last five years from when I got my last iPhone. So that comes out to about a 24% rate of return 
And if we look on this chart and actually take a look at what your money would grow to if you invested $300 a year, the savings of not buying that iPhone at 20% interest, because this calculator doesn't even go up to 24%, you would go up to about $2.2 million. Now, again, it would be higher than this if you could actually get the rate of return of Apple because it is exponential at that point. But I'm not saying that you should try to recreate this either and try to go after a 24% rate of return, but it is something to take into consideration when you are buying the new iPhone. Now, again, I'm not telling you that you should or shouldn't buy this. You know, Personally, I'll still probably buy another iPhone, but again... With the holidays coming up, people spend about $1,000 or more on gifts, travels, uh, other types of goodies, <laughs> they say here. So I think it's important to keep this in mind. And then before we go any further, if you want a way of actually getting some money back instead of inflating your lifestyle, you can sign up with Webull down below. They're running a promotion right now where you get three free stocks if you deposit $100 or more. And it does really help out my channel too. It helps me a lot. So if you guys want to do that, you can check out the link below. You can start investing with Webull and you can get those three free stocks right ahead of the holidays. Thanks. Now, personally, I am probably going to buy a new phone soon, but there are, I think, a couple different ways that you can save money. First of all, don't buy the newest iPhone. I mean, they upgrade a little bit, but generally, it's very similar to the iPhone before. They come out with a new generation pretty much every year, even faster sometimes, but a lot of the time, there isn't that much of a change in the iPhone. So, what I'm planning to do is buying a iPhone 10 or an iPhone 11, something like that, and buying it right around Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So I think that I can get some good deals on this. I also have been able to save up some money in gift cards and really gift card hack uh, a couple different ways, but I've been able to refinance loans and get money off and get money on gift cards. So if you're interested in that, there's a link to Credible down below. If you have student loans or a home loan or anything like that, you can refinance and you can actually get a gift card for it depending on what kind of loan you're refinancing. But that is something to consider too. Now, again, I'm just planning on getting a couple generations back, saving some money with the gift cards, and I think it will pretty much cut my price in half. Also, I plan on holding the phone for a while. I'll get a good case. I will be able to make it last for three, four, five years again. And hopefully that will just decrease my cost. So I'm looking at spending maybe $500 or $600 and that's before gift cards. Now I have to dial in exactly whether that will be possible, but I don't think that will be an issue. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate it. I know it's a little bit different than what you're used to, but I think it'll be really valuable. And maybe it will just save you 20 bucks, 40 bucks. Just keeping this in the back of your mind as the holidays approach. But again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for using the description below and checking out Credible and Webull. Again, they have three free stocks on Webull if you deposit $100 or more just for a limited time. After that, you know, it might change. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.